Yes, I was homeless. Smelling like that smell like in 10 pounds, I bounced that ass. Not a pot to piss in, and two big duffel bags with all my stuff in it. And I was just barely 18. But why was I homeless? It's a good question. Let's talk about it. Damn, it's fancy. Welcome to the channel, yeah, you right on time Check your brothers, sisters, and cousins, hell, even your moms and your friends too But don't forget to like and subscribe to hit the post notice so you can get the drop on time You want your shout out? Go ahead and drop a comment below And it'll be one at the end of each banger I post Bangers, challenges, pranks, it's a lot I can do Sing too, but shades is not a one directional dude So senior year, my last and final year of high school while at the same time being the last chance that I had to take any opportunity that came my way. I blew my chances with basketball so I didn't get to play my senior year but that's a whole nother story that we're not gonna talk about. I also used to play football but ended up giving up on that due to an injury my sophomore year. Boom! Two opportunities. And moose. Gone. Just like that. Even though I will say the chances of me making a good life from playing sports was highly unlikely I was nice at both sports, but not professional nice. I guess everything happens for a reason though, right? I was supposed to go to college, but skipping school and smoking them tweeds ruined that for me. And I almost failed too, bruh. This one teacher I swear didn't like me, Mrs. Jude. She put me in this blue taped box in the front of the class all by myself, just cause I was the class clown. Making me the center of attention for the rest of the year, man. Gosh, to be more careful. And then had the nerve to tell me, You're gonna fail in that and all the kids that you're disrupting is gonna laugh at you and move on without you. Now she ain't really laugh, but I will say it. That right there, that, that right there, man, that struck a nerve. Mind you, this is math class and the only class I ever struggled with. So long story short, I did everything in my power to prove her wrong. And I did. I graduated on time and I ended up taking a picture with her, thanking her for saying those words to me. But hold on. Wait a minute, we not quite out of the high school part yet, my nigga. If you was any bigger, you'd be my big nigga. Yes, sir. See, growing up for me and a couple other people that I used to hang out with, acting out was a cry for help. My dad lived all the way in Baltimore while I'm with Mob Dukes, and she working graveyard shifts, and she raising five of us. There's five of us in the crib, even though we practically raised ourselves. She worked a lot. Mind you, her job is two hours away, so that's four hours to and from, on top of working 12 to 13 hour shifts. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, because of all of that, it gave me way too much time on my hands with very little guidance. I'd be out doing shit that I won't mention so I don't implement myself or anyone else in anything. But some of the things I will say, drinking, smoking, fighting, and finding any type of way to make some money, good or bad, I was that kid that'll play ding dong ditch the night before and then come back the next day and ask if you need your grass cut. And that's big facts like Snapple Caps. There's a lot of stuff that friends and I used to get into back in the day that I can't speak of, but hopefully everything I just said paints a picture for you. You know what I'm saying? But hold on! Wait a goddamn minute! Before you assume that I was a demon child, know that I grew up in church. So I knew right from wrong. I just chose to do this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Just being, a, just being a kid, you know? Just being a kid. So with that being said, you could technically say that I was headed down the wrong road by choice. Ooh. Technically, I had nothing going for me. Opportunities came and went, and the only choices I had left was military or trade school. But what did I choose to do? My ass got a job at Wendy's. Gots to be more careful, bro. You would think that it was a good idea to get a job, right? Hell no, 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 no. Hopping on that miserable hamster wheel of life is everybody's first and easy choice. Like my dad always said, if it's too easy, you don't want it. Now hold on, given that was in reference to females, but it still speaks volumes to life itself. Because success, being a boss, legal money, owning something that's generational, etc., etc. that's goals. That's hard work. Not flipping burgers for $8.75 an hour while being told what to do by somebody that hates their job just as much as you do. Gosh, to be more careful. But that was just poor decision making on my part. Now fast forward some, graduation comes. It was lit. It was lit. I must admit, it was definitely a highlight of my life, man. Cause I did something that someone told me I wasn't gonna be able to do. I had family there and I felt proud of myself because in that moment I realized how powerful I am when I apply myself. Wait a minute. 
You thought it was going to be a happy ending and I was going to live happily ever after? <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Well, it's a good thing you don't get paid to think, huh? I mean, you can like the video, subscribe, you can share the video, and then comment Shady Gang Gang in the comment section. No? Oh, okay. Back to the story. That night, a group of people and myself was pre-gaming at the house before going to a party. Now, mind you, my dukes can go gospel gangsta at a moment's notice. I ain't lying. We smoking, drinking with towels tucked under the door, music bumping, and then had like two or three fans pointed out an open window. My mom comes back from wherever she went and smells it and starts spazzing out. Without mentioning details, we ended up leaving and going down the street to the park to finish pre-gaming and then headed to the party. I came back home drunk and smelling like the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> Such a beautiful scent. But my mom's boo lover at the time didn't like that and he had some shit to say. So we was going at it verbally at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Nothing major, you know. But then the next day, Ma Dukes and I, we have a talk. Without mentioning details, just know it was a heated discussion and I ended up packing my shit and leaving. No cap, that ain't even what hurt me, bro. What really hurt me is when I was packing my stuff my little brother was just sitting on the bed staring at me and he was crying and he just said he don't want me to leave. You know what I'm saying? That's what hurt the most, really. You know what I'm saying? But I hugged him, told him what was going on, and I told him everything was going to be okay and that he'll still see me around. It's not like I'm moving to different states or anything like that. Just know I always had his back. Like, you know, big brother stuff. Long story short, that was a tough moment right there, man. Because, like, me and my little brother used to get into it all the time. So for him to show those type of emotions, it's just... So I finish packing, I get my stuff, and I head to the basketball court where I practically lived anyway. Because before and after school, I was always at the court. We was always hooping, bro. I slept at the park with all my stuff for about like a week or so, sneaking back into the house to shower and eat and stuff like that. Until eventually, I ran to my mom and we ended up talking. Now, without mentioning too much details, I ended up coming back home. You know what I'm saying? But trust me when I tell you, it didn't last long. In that moment, I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. You know what I'm saying? So as time went on, I eventually got myself kicked out for good because of the choices I was making. You know what I'm saying? Keyword, choices I was making. I ended up back sleeping at the park for an extended amount of time until people started noticing all my rants on social media about it. And then that's when I started house hopping couch to couch. You know what I'm saying? One of the places I stayed at, I literally had to hide and climb in and go out through the window and had to stay isolated in a room the whole time. I won't say why, leaving out those details, but if you know, you know. I was isolated and stuck in that room the whole time. I couldn't, I couldn't shit, pee, nothing like that. Like I had to go somewhere else to do all of that. We're not even gonna talk about how I was eating. Like, we're not even gonna talk about that. Fast forward about two years or so and a lot done happened. A lot of shit has happened. I had thoughts of dying. I left Wendy's. Me and Jazz was off and on. Shoot, I was drinking, partying, smoking. I even thought the world was going to end in 2012. Am I the only one that thought the world was going to end in 2012? Still sending shots at Mom Dukes and her boo love ass social media. But I rekindled that, moved on from that, because I realized that I was only in that position at that time, and that at that moment in my life, solely based off of the decisions that I was making. And legit, shortly after that, no cap, I got the call that I was no longer gonna be homeless, man. That shit felt so great, bro. So I got another job at Macy's and then I started going to school at Valley College for my HVAC certification that I unfortunately didn't put to use post-graduation. It was a choice, but I was still lit though. You know what I'm saying? I was still lit though. And I was even supposed to go into the military. I was supposed to go to, to the Navy, but I ended up getting hurt playing basketball. My dumb ass ended up telling the recruiter it was, yeah, it was just, yeah, it was a whole bunch of stuff. Cause the time I was supposed to go, I already passed the ASVAB, had my job picked out, everything. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't go because of an injury and I ended up telling the recruiter, just thinking that they would hold off a little bit, hold off on the date, but it ended up messing everything up because of what had happened. Anyways, back to the story. I still remember the feeling that I had when I got my first apartment, man, in 2014. I was just blessed and so hyped, yo. I didn't even have no furniture starting off, yo. You know what I'm saying? I was just so happy that I finally got to wash my ass. Well, but nah, seriously, everything started to slowly but surely come together and fall into place. I ended up leaving Macy's and started working two jobs. The Boys and Girls Club 
in Target. And I stayed in that apartment for about five to six years where a lot of shit happened, good and bad, but I stayed there for about five to six years until this past year or last year or whatever, you know what I'm saying? When I finally moved out of there and now I live in a townhouse. But next is owning a house. That's the next thing is owning a house. Manifesting all of my manifestations. Now there's still a lot of work to do now. Don't make it happen, make it happen. Disclaimer, there are several things that I left out of this story so that I'm not making anyone look bad nor implementing myself or anyone in any type of crime. My intention is to motivate the youth and somehow, some way, encourage them to make better decisions. Hence why I worked at the Boys and Girls Club. I mean, hell, some of you adults need some motivation and encouragement. I mean, I ain't gonna point no elbows or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna point no elbow. There's a lot of things that I've proved to myself and that I'm proud of that in turn made me who I am today. I'm not forgetting the spicy shit life likes to put on your plate sometimes. But I will say with certainty that I am a way better person now than I was then based off of my ability to make better decisions. I'm not perfect, but I'm definitely better than the man I was yesterday. And that's big facts like Snapple caps, you feel me? Yes sir! And I'm on my way, I can feel today is my day. I just wanna be the one to make it up Cause everybody in my city in competition With everybody trying to get it, I get it Human nature, but it's condescending to say that they ain't shit It's a contradiction to the obvious fact That we ain't that different To the obvious fact that we ain't that different